Previously on Capes and Quest, the party had managed to defeat the goblin leadership and reclaim the sky wagon, but can they fly it back to Oasis in one piece? Let's find out together, shall we, in the thrilling conclusion to Capes and Quests. All right. So, what you guys are gonna do now that you're back, uh, back in the foyer level? Uh, well, now we have to go downstairs, right? Nice. Wait. What were, okay. So there was the desert door upstairs. Mm. We went upstairs. Can't go through the desert door. There's the whimpering downstairs. Was there another door? Uh, the door you came in. Uh, okay. I don't think they're that way. So <laughs> we'll go downstairs. All right, so you walk down the stairs very uneventfully. As you get closer to the basement, you uh, still hear the whimpering, but you also hear, like, loud snoring now on top of that as well. I guess I could sound effect this one, but fuck it, you know, I'm here to act. So I'm That's okay, DM. you're doing you're doing great. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you hear, you hear loud snoring there. Are you stealthing at this point, or are you still just walking down? I, I mean, I would think I was going to try to stealth. I don't know what everyone else is going to do. All right, anyone? I, I kind of want to just use my cat claws and go at old dude who's sleeping. <laughs> do we do we even see him yet? Do we see him yet? Uh, eventually, as you get closer down there, you see a large open prison room split into two sides. On the left side, you see four very scared, very malnutritioned, beaten up gnomes who are doing the whimpering. On the right side, you see a bunch of jackals in cages with uh, little, li- li- cute little goblin saddles on them. Clearly, they ride them around at night, and it's just <laughs> precious. And right in front of you, you see a sleeping goblin on a little stool. He's kind of like got his head down. And what would seem huge to him, a bottle of wine that clearly looks to be the same uh, make of wine from that ship where they were also getting the gunpowder. Wait, like- so we've got the four guys that we're trying to get in one cage. Yes. The jackals are in a totally separate cage. Yes, off to the mm-hmm. other side. And then there's the guy asleep? Yes. Okay, I'm going to try and snap the neck of the guy who's asleep. <laughs> All right, do a stealth. <laughs> Oh, uh, still. So, oh, damn it! I should have just gone with like bludgeoning him to death. Uh, uh, also, <laughs> also, also, too, the apprentice. Oh my! Ladies and gentlemen, and my stealth is a one, so Holy twenty-one. Shit. Okay, so the apprentices see you, and they're like super excited, and like one of them wants Jesus. To, well, one of them Sorry, wants to minutes. call out. And to be like, oh, no, we're saved. But, like, two of the other apprentices cover her mouth to be like, no, 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 no. You know, don't give them away just yet. The goblin's asleep. They, they look like they were ready to pantomime instructions to you. But you, you creep over like a shadow in the night to where this <laughs> drunk goblin is sleeping. And you snap his neck like Henry Cavill. And, like, and, the, and the apprentices are a little shocked and a little horrified. Or at and least just so- like Henry Cavill, I don't feel bad about it after five <laughs> seconds. <Nope. Yeah. laughs> it's like, they're shocked and feel bad too, but they're also like, oh, holy shit, we're going home. This is awesome. And uh, eventually, yeah, they start talking to you and thanking you. And they're like, grab the key, grab the key. He's got the key right there. And uh, yes, he had a little key hanging off him. Yeah, right. like, like three beads of pee come out when I watch him do that and break the guy's neck. <laughs> I specifically wanted my character to be low in stealth to be a big idiot, but if there's <laughs> one time that the stealth would pay off, I feel like this would be the moment. Like This, this feels is... like the end of the moment for him. <laughs> and that's when they called him Corbin the Creeping Death. <laughs> But yeah, so the the apprentices are super stoked to see you, and I'm assuming as you unlock the door, they start talking to you there, and they're like, oh, they've been starving us and beating us for weeks, or not for weeks, days, they, for days, they wanted us to, uh, to, to to fix the sky wagon, they were going to attack Oasis and all the other settlements. Did you, did... I didn't ask for your life story, I'm getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Quint hired you, Quint hired you, oh, that's, oh, oh, this this internship is the worst, I tell you, you know, we said we could come out here from the city, you know, see, see the countryside, get some work experience, I really didn't think it was going to be like this. Oh, also, I you're not going to actually get credit hours for this. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your college doesn't accept this internship. Oh, yeah, man. really, uh, really unpaid internships have become modern day slavery in the world. <laughs> you really need to. I'm very well adverse in this one area. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst summer ever. Oh, let's just get out of here and back to the sky wagon. 
can, can I shoot a crossbow into the jackal cage before we leave? Because uh, Antoine, don't forget shit. Uh, you absolutely can. <laughs> you absolutely. Th- th- they were fast asleep, but you absolutely can. The big, the biggest one that's still in the cage. Antoine aims point and blank at its head with a crossbow because, hey, remember me? <laughs> All right, nah. you. Yeah, you remember me. You, you hit it with a crossbow, and it's like, yipe, 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 yipe. And uh, all the other uh, jackals look very scared, and they will remember the name of Antoine from here to eternity. Cool. Antoine sprays pissed near their cages and <laughs> head out. <laughs> they are horrified and confused, as are the apprentices, but they figure they're not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, and they've been saved. <laughs> this is totally going to come to haunt us later. You realize that, right? <laughs> oh, you don't know. <laughs> So, all right. So, again, I take it you all you all make it upstairs. The apprentices make the final adjustments that they need to do for the sky wagon, and they're like, "All right, get on." And it just hit me at this point too. We're this far in, and I never actually described to you what the sky wagon looked like or how it worked. I just imagine a sky wagon. It's basically. I was trying to picture this when you were describing the throne up there. So it's it's basically yeah. a proto balloon, is what it is. It's a wagon that you would know with a big, large balloon made of what you can only assume to be like animal stomachs and intestines. And it we, ends we did all this for a dirigible. You did yeah. it for a dirigible. <laughs> See, he did. I'm really disappointed because the entire time we've been doing this adventure, I've been picturing something really cool, like, like a Da Vinci, Fantasy. like a Da Vinci, like uh, flying, me- like mechanism of some sort. Same. And, same. and now I'm like, it's a fucking balloon. Well, I, mean, I was I going to try and something wild, wild one of the wings over to crush the little man <laughs> yeah. on top of it. So I'm glad that now that I never tried that. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, keep in mind it's a prototype that fucked up on its first test. So you know, maybe you should tell Quint some of these things later. Yeah, that's true. Take, that's true. You'll take it under consideration. So they all get on top of it. They uh, light uh, what seemed to be some sort of uh, desert flower on it. There, they instantly catch magical fire, fills the balloon with air, and it starts uh, rising. I'm assuming you're all on it when it does this. Did- did we yeah. fix it, uh, or did they fix it? That's why it the smoke from it. the magical fire. <laughs> you, you, you inhale it, and it's some good shit, actually. Yeah, no, you set a plant on fire, Antoine's there, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's a rare desert flower filling you with oxygen. <laughs> He's not um, even in the balloon. He's trailing behind, <laughs> smelling the scent like a cartoon <laughs> character. <There you laughs> like go. a pie on a window <laughs> seal. So, yeah, you, you all get in the balloon. The apprentices take point on steering it. Uh... I'm assuming, and now would be a perfect time, too, if you wanted to get some rest and win back any spells and or health. They, uh, tell, the apprentices tell you, eh, it's going to be a couple hours uh, before we get back to town, but still much quicker, I'm sure, than the trip you took to get here. What happened uh, to the camels? Barn, I'm guessing you just left them. <laughs> We're not getting our <laughs> we deposit so back. much money for those. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm sure uh, innate, uh, if, if the, the relationship you built with the camels, their internal compass will always help them find home, much like reindeer in the North Pole. Is yep. that a thing? Some Arthur Christmas bullshit I'm quoting. Hey, we <laughs> All right, well, I mean, you guys can rest, but these guys haven't eaten, and they've been abused mm-hmm. uh, and worked to death, so I'm going to stay up and make sure that they don't have any food and don't stop working. <laughs> He's so... going to do drugs. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna do that too, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cracking the whip too to make he sure he did have guys... food on him too. Like he remember Antoine did have food with him. Yeah, you, oh, you I'm all sorry. Have food. Are we the UN now? I didn't know we were the UN on a humanitarian mission. <laughs> the, 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 the little gnome in the corner, so hungry, so dehydrated, <laughs> so loud, so loud. Get back to work. <laughs> the, the, they cry a little tear of this harrowing thing as they start pointing you back in I'm, the direction. Yeah, sadness just makes me feel stronger. I guess so. All right. All right. So uh, a, a number of hours pass there. Uh, night turns into dawn. Uh, some of you sleep. Some of you don't. Uh, eventually, you do crest a sand dune, and you see Oasis uh, in the corner. But you also see something else that is slightly alarming. Whole caravans are leaving the city in mass, a bunch of people are all just getting the hell out of town. In fact, uh, because you're all a little heavier in the sky wagon, you're a little closer to the ground, you're pretty sure you see a wagon uh, with the elf who owned, uh, uh, what is it, Wonderwall Provisions and the dwarf uh, 
who owned uh, the other place there. They're in the same wagon together, pushing and arguing with each other uh, about childhood experiences. And they're like, oh, this is your fault. No, this is your fault. And just really just really getting into each other. It's a real, it's a real nasty domestic thing there, too. And they're like, well, I want to open a new business. Well, I want to open a new business. Like, well, we certainly can't go back there now. Just as they keep going and uh, everyone on their way out of town... As you get closer to Quinn's house, you start seeing what is unmistakably a thick, billowing uh, smoke coming out from where his house and workshop was. Uh, what, what? Right. We're oh. not getting paid, are we? I, I don't know. What are you? What we we made it back within a week. We were lied to. Uh, can we? Can we cross boat? Like right in front of his wagon and make them yeah, specifically I'm, I'm stop. I want to get story from these. What's going on here? Yep, you can. I don't want a story from them. I want money. Uh, yeah, you can. You can totally uh, land and talk to them if you want. Yes, we land the sky wagon. And we get some fucking answers. <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 who are you talking to? Are you talking to uh, Noel the bartender or uh, uh, Liam I'll the store guy? Right now, they're talking to Karen, all right? Because I want to see the fucking manager. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah, which uh, uh, which one do you want to get the skinny from so I know what voice? Okay, so. so let's talk to uh, the one who gave us the mission first, uh, Quint. Uh, Quint. Uh, Quint is not there. Everyone else is leaving oh, town, but you don't see Quint. Okay, so which one was it? Uh, uh, N- yeah. Noel was the bartender. Liam was the guy who sold you provisions and drugs. Let's go with provisions and drugs first. Yeah, let's talk to Liam. Let's okay. talk yeah. to Liam, because I need to re-up <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, he oh. clears out. Oh, look, you guys are back again. Hey, your timing couldn't have been worse, though. We're all getting the hell out of here while the getting's good. Empire came by. So the, the Empire? Em- the Empire, yeah. There's the one. Apparently some bad deal Quint did. They're really pissed off. They're going to kill him, then they're going to burn down the whole town. They're assholes like that. That sounds like a whole mess of your problem. Ah, that's yeah. <laughs> uh, no, not anymore it ain't, man. That's why I'm leaving. That's why we're I whisper, old. Even. I whisper to Corbin. I'm like, it's our problem until we get paid. Well, we have the sky wagon. We have what they want. We could sell it back to them. Uh, I'm totally cool with selling this back to them. It's you. It's a dirigible. We can sell this garbage. <laughs> last, it's going to uh, be outdated in like two decades. Last uh, last time I checked, uh, General Dijak, the guy leading these people, they are kicking Quint around like a football. He's a little guy, so he kicks real good. I kind of <laughs> wanted to do the same, so. <laughs> Good okay. on them. Uh, the, the, the apprentices are horrified at this point, but uh, Liam is just like, yeah, if you guys want to get in there, should probably get in there. And he also looks at Antoine there. It's like uh, he, he gives you the little nosy thing like, hey, how was, uh, how, how was the stuff? <laughs> it's, it's good shit, right? I'm going to be opening up a new place soon. You want, uh, you want a little for the road? Uh and Anton jumps in front of everybody, says yes. All right, let's uh, let, let's do business out here out the back of my cart. <laughs> so he takes All right, little, little shady. You're not a cop this time, are you? <laughs> I never was. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the, good. The, the cops are the ones doing the burning and the kicking and shit. <laughs> oh, man, I was going to help those guys, too. We can't help those guys now that I know this. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the Empire are real assholes, too. Real, uh, real sticks in the mud when it comes to new technology and shit. I think, uh, I, I think the Emperor, uh, Machion, he's, uh, he's, he's real big into uh, magic and shit. You know, he really, uh, really wants to keep his boot on certain types of technology. Interesting. Yeah. Alright, so, should we go get this guy and get our money so- and... Here's here's my thought on this. Do we actually want to take the sky wagon straight to Quint's house if that's where they're messing around with him, or do we want to ditch it someplace, kind of like out of sight? I will be you, decide, you guys decide what you gotta do. I really gotta use the bathroom. All I'll right, right, all right. You, all we'll, right. We'll, we'll role play there and wait for you to come. I, back. I'm not. I'm not overly invested in keeping the sky wagon. <laughs> right. Exactly. But I'm just. Thinking, I mean, it like, seems cumbersome. Such my is whole the thing of is, flight. Right. So my <laughs> whole thing is that: do we show up with it and then they just take it and we don't get paid? Can we attack from it? Oh, do we have? Do, do we have the higher ground in this thing? Uh, you have a li- you ha- you're like five feet off the ground there, so you're definitely you're about as high up as the roofs of the place here. Because the apprentices are on here, you're all a little lower because that's a lot of weight with all of you together. But yeah, you definitely have aerial advantage in this thing. Okay. Right. So how about this? If we're at the roof, how about we swing by, drop me off on the roof? <laughs> I can hit him. With, I can hit him with like range fire attacks from up top while uh. 
you know, Corbin handles the big boy brute, like, physical stuff downstairs. You know what? That's not a bad idea. I mean, granted, that situation comes up when we actually get to the house and we're able to pull this right, off. Right, right, right. We're just thinking but of a plan yeah, of I'm just, I'm just thinking, yeah, we do need a plan. I don't want to give this thing up. I want my freaking cash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, the whole point of it. And Quinn can't pay if he's dead. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he can't if he still has the money in his pocket, so we rummage. <laughs> Let me uh, l- you, l- let me ask you this: Did you guys take any black powder from the thing? We took all the black powder from the thing before <laughs> yes, we left. Let's, yes, we did. I remember yes. that specifically. Retcon, <laughs> they, <laughs> which is great. I'm glad that you brought that up because, like, my my finishing move was going to be like, and then I let the black powder on fire on our way from the fortress. I mean, like, I'm glad I didn't do that. I mean, clearly the Hobgoblin's plan was to turn this into like some sort of floating death ship where he could drop black powder bombs on people who pissed him yes. off. Yes. That was, I put, obviously, that's where I thought uh, this was going um, when I first saw the situation. Also, it just hits me, Hobgoblin with a death glider and explosions. Oh my god, I made this about comics without even trying oh. to. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. My retcon was going to be Doctor Manhattan took away ten years of our lives at the end, and then they just stopped talking about it, almost like yeah, they no. changed halfway through. I mean, they do, but it, like every three months, just like phone calls with your dad after the divorce, it's like every three months. You're just happy to get something. Yeah, really. It's just, it's just this all seemed like this was heading somewhere, Dr. Manhattan, and then everything keeps getting delayed. Oh God, we really thought it was heading somewhere. Oh, well. Poor Jeff Johns. You, you gotta get that dude drunk one time and be like, alright, what was the actual ending? Where was all of this actually going before they clearly made you stop? Honestly, it's on us because uh, right. we're old enough to not expect things from life anymore. I guess. It's a whole other conversation we're gonna have after this, by the way. <laughs> Just to let you know. So we did a bit uh, of retconning, actually, uh, when you went away there, Thorgy. Uh, you were sure to take a couple casks of black powder on this trip with Oh, you. okay. So mm-hmm. you're in an armed death fortress now <laughs> that flies. Uh, we're in a floating fireball if we're not careful. Does anyone have any fire base magic? I do. I okay. Do. And it's one of my reusables. Yes, yes, Sacred Flame. So what if we just flew over where this army is, threw the baskets out, and then lit them on fire? Yeah, it's a good plan. You could definitely do it. Yeah. If that's what you want to do, we, we, we can roleplay it. You, you lay it out for me to play it out. So is that, all right, so we're all in agreement. Go. All right, we're going to do that. Let's start heading towards uh, Quint's, to Quint's house. Yeah. All right, so you follow the familiar path through the streets, which are now very empty because everyone is running because they figure as soon as these guys are done with Quint, the rest of the town is next. You hover up to his house, and uh, as you look down, you can see three dragonborn individuals, one really chubby green dragon in uh, chain mail, one much sleeker-looking blue dragon, and a red dragon who you can only assume is the general Dijak guy they were talking about because he's wearing full plate, looks very regal, lots of battle scars, and together they are all just kicking Quint back and forth like a football. It's really sad. They are just kicking the shit out of this poor no. His house and his workshop is just super on fire right now in the background. Sad the weird word for funny. Yeah, I'm okay watching this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I suddenly don't feel bad about that hole in the wall anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys just bust off. Ah, <laughs> look, look, oh, look, oh, I'm pretty sure his ribs broke on that one. <laughs> his ribs look like it's fence broken. We just laugh. <laughs> we just laugh like the Fat Albert gang. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 that guy's getting the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> <laughs> so, a- after about five minutes of laughing, again, the-, the apprentices who are still with you are just pale right now, seeing their mentor just getting jumped in, and you guys laughing so uproariously, they don't know who who, who they have better chances with the Empire or these three Pretty psychopaths. Who, we got uh, drugs. Yeah, who rescued them. Uh, you're eventually laughing so hard, uh, General Dijak looks up at you, and he, he calls out to you with a booming voice. That's like, well, would you look at that? It looks like they saved us the trouble of having to go into the desert and find it. I yell out, what? <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 this guy doesn't have a sense of humor like the goblin guy. He knows <laughs> that you're fucking with him. And he's like, all right, you better come down with that right now. We better have a talk. Uh, I yell out, the only thing I'm coming down with is the sickness, and then I say, ooh, wah, ah, ah, ah. 
<laughs> Why does every white aggro rock band have to go ya 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 and yow hey? <laughs> he, uh, he he does not find that funny, General Dijak. He he opens his mouth, reminding you that he and his men are dragonborn and that they have breath weapons. And the idea seeks to be implying through his actions that you can either come down and talk to me, or I can blast you out of the goddamn sky with my breath weapon. All right. So how about? Oh shoot. One of us has to go down and talk to him. I'll go down. <laughs> All right. I'll do well, it. I thought that was, I, I uh, was going to be a difficult conversation, but apparently yeah. not. I, I yell out, okay, Howie Mandel, let's make a deal. <laughs> uh, and then I jump down <laughs> off the dirigible. <laughs> okay, I d- do a dexterity to see if you land cool or not. I'm a cat. Okay. Yeah, roll uh, with advantage uh, then because cats always land on their feet. I rolled a nine. Okay. Roll roll again because okay. that's and uh, take okay. the highest one. And I rolled a 17. Okay, holy shit. You you do a goddamn ricochet phoenix splash off the top rope of this dirigible, land right on your feet, like in a superhero landing where you're like punching the ground and looking at yes. him like nice. a boss. Nice, then, then let's make a bill thing sounded badass and not horrible. Yeah, to which, <laughs> again, like the two, the two mooks behind him, the two grunts, they're like super impressed but trying really hard to not look impressed because this general uh, die jack guy looks like he probably hit them if he thought they were too excited. Mm-hmm. Antoine sees their boners through their jeans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know you're impressed. They're so into it. And uh, he basically looks at you and he's like, <clears throat> again, I'm trying to remember what the fuck was his voice. Uh, so he's like, so you got the sky wagon. Good, good. This is, this, is very, this is very good for me. We thought once we were done burning the town, killing Quint, we'd have to go find you. But you brought it right to us. This is, this is very good. Now, what do you want? Uh, we just want the money we're owed for this job, and then you could take this big old Dodge Durango that we have. Don't even really want it. I kind of want to go get my camel again. <laughs> uh, it, you you can hear the sound of your camel in the background galloping towards you. We do like a like a slide cut to it, like a smash cut. And you can see some Reggie. Yeah, he's just right <laughs> to, l- l- like the end of the Lion King animated movie. You can hear that music in the background, like when Simba ran all night. It's like that, but it's your camel running all night to be reunited with you. <laughs> oh. Well, then that works out fine. I think, wait, wait, so are we trying to fight them to save this guy's life, or are we just trying to get the loot? We just want our money, dude. Yeah, if I'm, you don't I'm, give us the money, then I don't I spent care. En- I've spent enough time with you in the last two days on this adventure to know that, like, there is no, like, <laughs> higher ground, no moral authority Love in this one. one. Let's just get fucking paid. Let's wait. just get paid. All right, Dijak thinks about it for a minute there, and you can tell he's really thinking about it. And he says, uh... You know, in any other situation, I would really respect people who are this morally gray. Really works well in my business. But but you gotta understand, I've got a boss. And a boss who invested quite a lot of money into this project. Only to find out that his mistress had a brother. And that brother owned a caravan company. Oh, uh, can and, I stab him? <laughs> and, and the Skywagon would really hurt business if it became as popular as we wanted to. So, my orders are kill Quint, destroy his factory, destroy that and also kill anyone else who knew about it so all I right all right you it. busted my boss how about half how about half the money we're owed and we'll just walk away call the square yeah. did you tell him we'll throw in kegs of dynamite <laughs> <laughs> yeah he, he starts tapping his little sigil right there of the fedalian empire and he's like sorry got a job to do wait shouldn't i have rolled to negotiate with this guy part uh, he he was being an asshole he wasn't gonna go with it one way or another I we do. have sex, gnomes. <laughs> I, do, I do mouth stuff. <laughs> we uh, have sex, gnomes. He's like, all right, so r- roll initiative. He actually, here's the thing. General Dijak is such a fucking badass. He actually, like, holds his hand up to his two dudes to hold back. And he's like, no, nah, I've got this. So oh, fuck you, Reader's Digest. <laughs> so, all right. So roll initiative uh, for this guy. I got a 12. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got uh, 11. And, oh, shit. Uh, four, this is not going to work out for me. 14. Uh, where is my everything? Uh, okay, so that's 14 for Vorlin and uh, Corbin. What were you? Uh, 11. 11. And Antoine, you were... Antoine. Antoine. Oh, he was uh, 12. 12, okay. Did, did, did he leave? 
That's fine. Josh died, everyone. It's okay. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. No. I, 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 so, uh, well, I was just asking what uh, what your initiative was. 12? Oh, it's 12. Okay, it's 12. cool, cool, cool. Now I got to roll for this dick, and I also got to get rid of this other enemy here because I don't need this shit no more. Uh, all right. And uh, all right, so his thing is he, he also gets uh, an 11, interestingly enough. So the first move will go to bleh, 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 numbers, numbers. Uh, okay, so Vorlin, you actually get to move first, and again, you're still you're still in the sky wagon at the moment. You're still you're still up top. You're still in the air. Oh, uh, okay. So oh, shoot. So can I fashion a weapon out of uh, this awesome black powder that we've got that amazingly? Antoine did not try to sniff. <laughs> Shocked, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm you amazed. went to sleep, remember? Uh, <laughs> give, me, g- give me some insight into what you're doing on it. What, what are you actually trying to do with it? Because uh, if you just want to like light it and throw it at him, you can totally... Right. Because, again, okay, cause so- we'll say the goblins loaded this with a bunch of like black powder bombs that they were ready to drop on the city anyway. So you got mm. that. You can also... Uh, yeah, you, you can do whatever you want with it, but that's, that's an right. option. Okay, so do they act? Did they actually fashion like black powder bombs? Yes. Yeah, they did. Okay. Very, uh, very good at bomb crafts. These guys shitty at building traps. Looks... Really good at building bombs. Figures. Uh, God, I, I want to light one on fire and throw it at the friggin' main main dude. All right, so you light up what is basically a Looney Tunes <laughs> circular bomb, like a friggin' Pirates of the Caribbean. And it says Acme on the side of it, right? So you know it's good. A- a- right. A- Acme was one of the <laughs> Goblin's names. He was really good at this shit. I knew it. I knew it. So there, what do you do? Do you, do you baseball pitch it? Do you chuck it overhead at him? What do you do? I'm not, yeah, I'm going to go two-handed. I'm, I'm not going to try to look too cool with this. Like, I mean, some, I mean I'm sorry, but like... Let's go two hands on this thing. All right. Nice. Let's uh, let's say uh, dexterity for that is what we'll say. Dexterity? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, rolled a 17 plus four is a 22. Hot fucking damn. Yeah, you hit him square in the chest piece with this nice. bomb. And let's call that uh, let's call that D10 for damage. Let's call D10? that D10. Yes. Let's do D10. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. Holy, uh, holy crap. So yeah, it it blows up. His armor is able to absorb a fair amount of the hit, but he he did not like that. He he was not a fan of that damage that you did to him just now. Okay. Okay. Do so, we have any idea how many points of damage that was? Uh, yeah, yeah. Didn't you say that was like seven? It was seven. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So that was seven damage. Out of, <laughs> it out of, was twelve. <laughs> out of <laughs> out of a possible ten damage. Uh, all right. Whose whose turn is next in the order? Uh, okay. He okay. Uh, his turn is next actually because he rolled a thirteen for his initiative. He's super pissed right now. He he wipes off some of the black char from his face of where the bomb uh, hit him, and he's like, "Do you think this is the first time someone tried to rain death down on me?" He opens up his mouth, and he is a red dragon born in case you're wondering and he is going to try and hit you uh with his uh own dragon fire and he's going to aim right for the balloon that you're all in ah shit is what he's going to try and do and ooh, he gets a 15 ooh, which God. is exactly what he needs so boom he hits the side of it and oh boy it's getting shaky the apprentices are doing everything they can to hold on for dear life and in fact you should too uh roll a dexterity uh corbin and vorlin to see if you actually are able yep. to hang on now because shit's getting bumpy i know when to okay you so go. it doesn't matter what i get add on to that that's gonna be bad yeah you definitely fall out corbin what about you vorlin how do you okay so i hold on i got a 17 plus four so it's gonna take me to 21 yep you it's hard for you to hang on but you definitely hang on uh corbin <sighs> you fall out you're not that far off the ground but you're enough to still take two points of falling damage okay so add that into your thing there that is that like hit points? Yes. I have not been damaged yet. No, so. I know yeah. you haven't. You've been Corbin the Indestructible this whole time. All right, so that takes me down to ten hit points. All right, there you go. Yes, you were the fighter, so you had the most actual HP All out right. of anyone. <laughs> All right, so you get hit, but you're also on the ground now, so you can help out Antoine and shit. So that's good. Friends, welcome. <laughs> yeah, mm. well, welcome to the <laughs> ground. <laughs> Uh, all right, so after that, uh, Antoine, it actually is your turn now, so what, uh, what are you gonna do now? Uh, I'm gonna attack him with my mace. 
My d20 roll was a 17. Okay, that actually does indeed hit him. Okay, and then I guess my d6 roll is a 4. Okay. Yeah, you uh, you leave a big dent in his armor, actually. He was not expecting the bomb thing. He's a, he's a, nice. little, he's a little ticked off, and he's actually thinking like, Oh, fuck, should I... Should I call my boys back into this? Why? Why did I try and be a big man and fight you? You all? better call your boys. <laughs> uh, Quint on the ground is like, "Fuck him up, get him, fuck him up." <laughs> As he's bleeding from his mouth, he's like, "Yeah, how do you like it, you piece of shit?" In his little, in his cute little gnome voice, all beaten up on the ground. Uh, all right, so after that, it will actually be uh, dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Um, uh, yeah, Corbin, it's your turn now, and so you, I'm t- guessing you pick yourself up, dust yourself off. I'm going to pick up the rock I used at the very beginning of this campaign, because we're back at that house. Love it. Oh, so I'm going to pick it up and beat him over the head with it. Okay. Oh my god, it comes full circle! That's, that's only going to be a D4, <laughs> though. Even though it's a big rock, it's only a D4. It's a D4, it's for symbolic purposes, I'm doing There it. you go, and you can add your strength to it and everything. So I do D20 first, then D4? Yep. Cool. Uh, that is 13 plus 3, 16. Oh, okay, yes. You ju- you just managed to get it, and you... Oh. Okay. And so when you when you hit him with this, you actually aim for that, like, little badge he had, the thing that said, ooh, I'm an official general, and you knock that shit off his armor with the rock. So, like, you might not have done a bunch of physical damage, but boy, did you do a lot of, like, mental damage to him. Like, he does not like that. Oh, uh, so I have to roll the D4, right? Yes, you still have to roll it. Yeah. All right, cool. But I'm just saying, regardless of what you do, you knock your shit off. Yeah. It is a two. It is a two? All right, there. So, yeah, he's he's still standing, but he's just, again, if he wasn't already a red dragonborn, he would be red with rage right, right. now over how he's being treated. These these damn these damn ruffians. <laughs> ruffians? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, think, you think you're the first ones I've killed? I'll pick my teeth with your bones! And, uh, all right, so it'll be, I think it is his turn. Yes, because, uh, because his is 11 and it goes back around again. Uh, you hit him with the rock, Corbin, so he's very mad at you right now. And uh, he's going to take out his long sword, which, again, is a very serious looking sword. And, uh, he is going to try and hit you right now. And that's a 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Does 12 hit you? My armor class is 14. Okay, so again, your armor absorbs the hit. He comes nice, at you. Nice. But your armor actually absorbs That would have fucking hurt if that hit you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the final, final secret boss. <laughs> but all right, so it all, it, it all turns back again is what it does. So it becomes... Uh, whose turn does it become? Uh, Vorlin, it's your turn now, and you're still up top. So Vorlin watching Corbin throw the rock... And hitting his little official badge mm-hmm. off of his chest, mm-hmm. I just scream really far, "Fuck the police!" <laughs> <laughs> and then I grab another bomb. <laughs> if granted, there are still some, and I'm a yes. I'm a two hand this thing. It worked the first time, so I'm going for uh, number two. All right. All right. I was and then what was I adding to that? Uh, dexterity, because it's a throw. Dexterity. Line. So, uh, <laughs> so that's a thirteen altogether. Okay. F- figuring from the first time that he does not want to be hit by that anymore, he sidesteps the bomb and it explodes off in the distance, doing more damage to Quint's already destroyed house. Okay, is what that does. So that one, that one doesn't get to him. But uh, Antoine, you are you are next. All right, I'm gonna uh, also yell. Uh, I don't particularly care for the police, uh, <laughs> and then I am going to. Attack him with my mace again. Right on. All right. And that roll is a 13 mm-hmm. uh, plus 3. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, yep, that hits. Cool, cool. So do I do a, like a like a key bump or <laughs> you, you, roll, roll for no, damage? Yeah, roll first. damage. Yeah, roll <laughs> yeah. damage. Oh that's... no, that's what I, that's what I did. That was my three. Oh, that, oh, it does three damage. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he uh, he he takes another hit in the chest, and he is not looking good at this point. He's he's a little black and blue. He's a little worse for wear. Maybe he uh, what is it? Bit off more than he could chew at this juncture. Yes. Yes, he did. Yeah. All right, so uh, with that, uh, Corbin, it's now your turn. Okay. Uh, the bombs that explode, is there some, like, 
gunpowder left on the ground or anything? At all. It landed in the fire, so unless you want to go digging through the fire. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh... How much? How many life points does he have left? Are we allowed to even ask that? You're, you're on this game. You're not allowed. I, I try and okay, tell no, you I got my you. description. I got you. All right, but he's pretty beat up. He's pretty beat up. He's, you're wailing on him pretty hard right now. Let's put it this way: we've done fourteen points. We've done fourteen points. We've done I fourteen see. points. Mm. It is what hit so he's either a twenty or, or I, he's, it, like, either I'm thinking twenty, twenty-five, or thirty is his. Uh, I'm his going eight. to grab Quinn by the leg and swing him like a bat. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. They're not going to get paid. All right, so you move over to Quint there where the two other Dragonborn, the the bulk and skull of the Dragonborns, they see you pick him up, and even they are horrified (laughs) and shocked. Like, we were were just beating this man. We were going to burn this whole town, and I still cannot believe the level of sickness (laughs) that this man (laughs) is doing right here. So to speak. They they turn around and run after you do this. (laughs) Like, I got two of them already. Yeah, so. even before, they're just so horrified at this. And all right, so you swing him, so that'll be a d20, and I, I guess strength? <laughs> that is, uh, it was just a seven, but plus three, ten. Ten. Uh, again, he he's so broken at this point, it's like hitting him with a pillow. Uh, uh, okay. D- <laughs> D- Jack laughs a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, but, but he's super into it, though, because he's super evil. Uh He's... So see, I'm on his side now. All right. So again, it's uh, it's actually his turn now, and again, he really he really wants to get a little payback uh, on Corbin for h- hitting him with a tiny little human. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna swing at you with his sword again. Fucking three. Mm. Got uh, my... I'm sorry. He's got the armor now. All yeah, right. Yeah, I see. Why, why are my final bosses so shit? <laughs> <laughs> All right. He- can I wait? Can I choose like how I take that hit? He tries to swing at me. Sure. Can I block it with Quinn? You. I mean, if you really <laughs> want to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you you stick Quinn up, and he ends up taking the full sword brunt of it. And because he was already hurt, he is now bleeding out at this point, and will be dying soon unless otherwise revived. But yes, he he is dying right I'm now. I'm not wasting the best part is we actually on him. the best part is we actually make it out with this and win. We can just threaten Quint with like we won't get medical. I was about to say we won't get like this is the plan. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is working. So Quint, yeah, we won't get help unless we get paid. So Quint is hella hurt, and even uh, Dijack is just shocked at the idea that someone could do this. He's like, I'm the bad guy, and even I wouldn't think of doing that. So uh, all right, Vorlin, it's your turn again. Comes back to you. Uh, okay, um, I'm I'm still gonna rain fire down if I can at this point. All right, all right. Oh, yes. Um, and then I'm adding... I'm, I'm so lost right now. That plus my... It was die plus what? Uh, dexterity. Dexterity? Is that what we're still going with? So, uh, 23. 23, yep. That that definitely hits them. How much damage do you do on the Oops. D10? Are we doing the D10? We're doing the D10. They're big explosions. Ah, shit. One. One. Okay. One. So he, he takes that one like a champ but it also has kind of like a two-face effect where it like blows off half of his face. <laughs> and he wasn't okay. a, and he wasn't a handsome dude to begin with, so like already he's just like ah fuck you. Kid handsome. Yeah, kid handsome. <laughs> yeah, kid, kid presentable. And then, then kid gruesome. Then kid mo. <laughs> kid mo. <laughs> Thank you Aaron for knowing exactly where I'm going. If it's a mm-hmm. Simpsons reference, I know it. <laughs> oh man, see I knew you I'm with, three were I'm the with right the right group. <laughs> Alrighty then, so uh, that goes back around, and uh, Antoine, it is now your turn. Okie doke. Uh, one more mace hit then, yeah? Yeah, alright, do, do do your do. Got a 15. Okay, that's, okay. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'll say that hits, even though that is his armor class, but you know what, I'll run my, I'll homebrew my own game differently and say on the equal, that does count as a hit. <laughs> I mean, gotcha. it's a it's a fifteen on the d twenty, but uh, oh. my mace thing is plus three, right? Oh yeah, so then, then fuck it would yeah. be an eighteen. Oh yeah, then you hit the shit out of him. Okay, and then my damage is a four. All right, so on the four there, you swing your mace like you've never swung it before on the other side of his head, the one that's not burnt, and you're pretty sure you see some brains fly out his ear as he eventually falls yes. to the ground dead. Uh, oh go. man, I was going to say go. die, Jack. Ah. Die, Jack. Oh, I wasted it. 
<laughs> you, you say that Antoine, as lying on the ground. Antoine takes a key bump in defeat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, you you knock the shit out of him there. Uh, Quint, the guy who hired you in the first place, is bleeding out on the ground. Uh, do, do, do you land the uh, sky wagon, or are you still just hanging out there? I, you know what? I kind of want to keep using the sky wagon and my uh, four sex gnomes as uh, collateral at this point. Are they sex gnomes? <laughs> because that's what I... The, 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 they hear you calling them sex gnomes. Like, well, we're, we're, we're apprentices from a prestigious school of engineering. Oh, yeah, I'm an engineer. How did this happen? <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, but we need internships. That's just our scourge <laughs> of the modern day, whatever the hell this land is. <laughs> I was just say, unpaid, unpaid uh, internships will teach them. So, uh, somebody's going to be in a tell-all book by one of these sex gnomes. <laughs> See, you even you agree, sex gnomes. Well, now I mean, I'll go with the majority here. Everybody yeah, seems to yeah. agree that they're sexual gnomes. All right, so are Hold you on. landing? Yeah, we're going to land it. Okay. No, no, no! I'm, I'm still, I'm still holding it uh, as collateral in the air. Yeah, what about his boys? Yeah, I'm holding them. I'm holding them hostage too. No, not the sex gnomes. I was talking about uh, the other, uh, the other. Oh no, they ran away. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So General Dijack has been vanquished. Quint is bleeding out on the ground. You're still up in the air with his apprentices. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, I'm. I... I'm going to let you guys work out the uh, Quint deal. I'm going to hold the uh, sky wagon and the four poor unfortunate sex gnomes hostage for a moment. I would just go up to him, crack my neck, and then just say, so about our payment. I'm, I'm dying. I'm so dying. I can't All right, pay here, you here's the, dead. Here's the deal. I have healing word. You told us where the money is, we heal you up. No problems. Okay, <laughs> look, I don't care about myself. Just save, just save my apprentices. <laughs> None of this is their fault. He's crying right now. Is the thing? It's 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 in a lockbox <laughs> off the side of the house. All right, somebody go find that lockbox. Uh, we're not NBC. I'm not in the business of apprentices over here. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, good point. I've got. I think I have like a high searching thing. What the hell is searching powers? Uh, investigation. Yep. Investigation. I have none of that. Really? I have one. Okay. Ed, I only got one, too, but I'm, I'm still up in the sky. You should have the wagon. balloon. I, yeah. I, 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 mean, I mean, for story convenience, he told you where it was, and he's not lying. It's buried under uh, the side of the house. Oh, okay, good. Uh, I rolled an eight for investigation. All right, so you find it very, very easily. All right. Oh, do I, do I roll now? Or, yeah. No, you found it. Yeah, you found yeah. the lockbox. It's box good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I guess it's up to me to, like, heal this guy now, keep up our side of the bargain. Oh, and is it open? Do we have, like, yes. is there a key? Or Okay, it's open. It's, it's open. Right. It was just buried there, and inside you find the other half of the 600 gold you were promised when all of this started. Mm. And I yell out to Corbin, there's 600 there, right? Watch him. Count it. Count it out. Yeah, count it. I point out we would have made far more money if we just took everything from the bar at the beginning of this adventure and left. Uh, <laughs> Antoine agrees, and then he takes a mace to the guy's head. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you really? Yes. Okay, so yeah, you, you put Quint out of his misery. The apprentices are fucking horrified right now. They're crying and screaming. And I already used my be... one healing word for the day, all right? I didn't have another healing word to give him, all right? You guys, this was always the plan. You, you did have potions. At this point, too, because the apprentices are flying the sky wagon at this point, they just force it right down, jump out, and run away at this point. They're so horrified for this murder. But on the Beautiful. other side, you have a sky wagon. We have a sky wagon and our sky wagon. He ain't going to be right. in case in Quest 3. Dude, we are some solid heroes, man. <laughs> yeah. oh, by the we way, can we, can we loot uh, the, the main boss that we just took out? Yeah, you sure can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to loot that guy really quickly. All right. He had a very nice set of Imperial plate armor. Uh, that would probably fetch a pretty uh, pretty penny. You don't know if it's magic or anything. You get the feeling that this dude could breathe fire, so they probably weren't setting up their dudes with magic stuff. His sword is also very nice. It's a plus one long sword. Uh, it's got a nice little dragon on the hilt and everything. A dragon on the blade. Yes. So you know I'm, it's good. 
I'm going to skin him and turn him into a vest. <laughs> All right, give me what's, <laughs> what's a role for that? Also, remember that Kirk's character is also a dragonborn, so you're playing one of his. Oh, uh, we killed how many fucking humans along the way in this thing? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> We're yeah, I'm pretty different at this point. I'm good with that. I'm trying to think. Uh, like, what, what is a flay check? What would that medicine? I guess. Yeah. Right. Uh, what's like out? You said like wisdom is like woodsiness. Yeah. Or something, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. Wisdom or medicine. Like, uh, weaving is a skill. Does that work? <laughs> both of them are. Both of them are two for me. So right, whatever right. it is, plus two. Uh, that is a 15 okay. plus two, 17. It takes you like 15 minutes. The flames <laughs> of a uh, Quint's house get bigger and bigger and, you know, start expanding to the rest of the city slowly, but surely. But yeah, you, you flay this man alive and you have his skin, his scaly red dragon skin. Now do good by horses. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, yeah, you know, you, you, you get the distinct feeling as you sit and stand there that uh, you're probably enemies of the Fidalian Empire right now. Those two guys ran away, assumedly, to get more reinforcements. So, you know, you could stay here, you could go to the Empire, or you could go on to seek new adventures across the border, which is actually very close now by Skywagon to the neighboring Empire. See what shit's going on there. It might just be the drugs talking, but we should hit the border, you guys. Mm. Make a run for it. Yeah, are about think, to get uh, heavy. Yeah, I think uh, second story to the right and straight on until morning to the next adventure. <laughs> I'm down with that. Go. I don't you... like hanging out in regular civilization anyway, so yes. <laughs> get out of here. And on that note, everyone, the crack fighting squad went on to their <laughs> next adventure far away, and it's there that we bring to a close what I'll be calling the first volume of Caves and Quest. Uh, there we go, guys. We did yeah. it. Thank you. Good game. Thank you so much, everyone. I oh, hope this was fun. It was. I hope you enjoyed it. And in fact, yeah. hey, everyone, coming next after this game, we're actually going to have a we're going to have a post game show. You know, it's like those Chris Hardwick shows. Only it's not going to suck, and we won't be problematic. We promise. <laughs> we don't promise. We don't. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of our brand at this point. But yes, everyone, thank you for listening to Capes and Quest, the show where we try and redefine high. No, fantasy. all the horrible things we say only happen in fantasy. <laughs> ah, you see again. This is this is why you get Thor on the show so that all right, was me that was my character that was the, <laughs> always always my character so we will see you all again next time everyone be sure to tell your friends if you like the show be sure to like subscribe favorite wherever i end up putting this one up and if you want more be sure to blow up our inboxes and tell all your other tabletop playing friends because i would like to do this more often so you know let me let me become one of them celebrity dms that we talked about let me get another career going because YouTube guy gonna, wasn't good enough. This is going to pick up, and I'm going to get replaced by Kegel, Mike, and Key, aren't I? <laughs> Early installment weirdness, man. All right, good. Let's end it there, everyone. Bye-bye.